Now, sports with Garrett Brown. Mavs football is getting set to open up conference play this weekend on the road against a ranked foe, staying within Colorado State lines, though, to take on CSU Pueblo. The Thunderwolves are ranked 22nd in this week's AFCA poll. The Mavs are rolling in a tough matchup after a loss in their home opener against another ranked team, number 13, Central Washington, where the Mavs fell 28 to 12. The Mavs and Thunderwolves are actually both coming off losses to ranked opponents. CSU Pueblo narrowly lost to the number three team. In the country for D2, Grand Valley State 24 to 21. But that game could have gone a lot uglier for Pueblo. They were trailing 70 to nothing at the half, but battled all the way back to make it a tight contest. Historically, the Thunderwolves have owned this Colorado rivalry, leading the all-time series with 18 wins to CMU's six and have won six in a row. And the pack has especially dominated since bringing their football program back in 2008, going 12 and 3 in that span against the Mavericks. There will be a lot of familiarity between these two teams headed into the game. For the Mavericks, their quarterback, Leslie Richardson, is a transfer from CSU Pueblo, where he appeared in three games for the Thunderwolves. On the other side of the field, the Thunderwolves head coach, well, he should look pretty familiar to Maverick football fans. That's Philip Vigil, who was at quarterback at CMU. Check out the Pueblo coach dicing up the team he's now in charge of. Vigil was under center for the Mavs in that first matchup with Pueblo after the pack brought their program back in 2008. He went on to throw for 150 yards and two touchdowns in that game. As for the Mavericks head coach, Coach K spent a season in Pueblo as the Thunderwolves defensive coordinator prior to taking the gig leading the Mavericks in 2022. Here's what the CMU head coach and the Mavs had to say about opening up conference play with a ranked CSU Pueblo squad. Well, I think it's why you, you go and you play at Texas A&M, Kingsville, you play Central Washington. Um, you know, we weren't looking to go out and get easy Ws. We want to go and compete with teams that are top in the country week in and week out. That's where we want to go, so we got to be able to face that competition. Um, so I, I think it's perfect timing. Excited for that opportunity to be, be able to go to their place and put our best football forward. You know, right now it's it's really like we're 0-0. It's two preseason games now. Those are done. Those are gone. Now we're on to conference play so we got to turn our focus um, uh, into trying to go and find a win to beat Pueblo. I mean it was, it's a dog fight every time we play Pueblo. Uh, I feel like the energy is up. Um, you know um, it, it's just a rivalry I feel and I've been here the two years so we're just expecting a win but we got to play sound football in order to win because they're not a pushover team. They're a good team um, on all phases of the ball so in order to win we have to come bring our A game on all, side of the, all phases of the ball. And just as a reminder for anyone having, heading over to Pueblo to watch the Mavericks take on the Thunderwolves, that game has been bumped up from a 2 p.m. start time to now much earlier at 11 a.m. But for now, that'll do it for your look at sports. We'll be right back.